especially after last year when he only, only got the two games and was in a boot and, and just not playing for the majority of the year? Yeah, it's disappointing. I mean, our fans want to see him playing because he's a terrific player when he's up and going, but he's also you know, a terrific person too. So we don't like uh, having our people miss out on, on football um, too much at all. And, and when it's back to back, it's it's going to be painful for him. But uh, look, all, all we all we know at this stage is that uh, he's definitely getting the operation. Um, the boys will rally around him. Um, and there'll be things that he can do, especially with this young group over the next three to four months to really help us. How's he going? Oh, I haven't seen him. Um, well, he was just that little bit we're adding to the midfield. Um, look, at this point in time, we, we've got um, obviously Haitley coming into the, um, the team this year. Um, young Barry and Peddler, who played um, in their Santa Fe game earlier, we'll, we'll add something throughout the year at some stage. So we, we're getting a little bit more depth through there. Um, it was just really unfortunate because we know that he's a quality player and uh, at training he's looked quite good in that position. But um, you know, unfortunately, it's a pretty ruthless industry, and there's, there's another man up. There's just another opportunity for someone. So, um, while you'll feel for for Wayne, um, someone's going to have to step up now and take his role. What did you make, what did you make of the game in general? I liked it. I liked it. it was a good hit out. Um, you know, we, we get sick of playing against ourselves. Um, it was pretty warm. There's a few boys cramping at the end. Uh, it would have looked like a fast-paced game. I would have thought, um, from not only the vision but also when you're sitting up in the stand. Um, and we're playing against you know, the minor premiers and a team, I don't know if they are favourites, but they'll be close to it for this season. Um, we're certainly developing, but it's a really good test for us. Yeah, so you mentioned Jackson Paley, so how's he fit in and how do you make his performance today? Yeah, he's going okay, Jacko. Yeah, look, um, he's one of, look, we've got to, what we've got to do is we play 26, 27 today. We've got to filter that down to 22 next week. And so how that looks, I'm not too sure at this stage. We'll go through the game, review it. Um, there's quite a few boys putting their hands up and, and, a, and a few boys that would have liked to have probably done a little bit more. Um, and underneath that, there was three or four really good performances in the SNFL too. So uh, a bit early to, to know what's going on moving forward. But you'd think the last game that every team plays will be close to their, very close to their first 22 for round one. Yep, and um, you said one of those um, players that stepped up was Billy Framden. Uh, how do you find yeah. his performance today? Three goals? Yeah, Billy, I, it's interesting when we've all assistant coaches come back um, to, to a club, or VB's come back. Myself and Raleigh have come new. Um, we've been really impressed pre season. As you saw early, he uh, certainly a focal point for us. And uh, yeah, he's been uh, really impressive the last four to six weeks. Got the opportunity today, and you're kicking three goals. It's um, it's another step forward, hopefully, to give himself a little bit more confidence for next week. Does Riley feel to get into the uh, first, first team, so to speak, next week? I mean, four goals in the sample. Yep. Another two pick. Is that, is that enough to get him in? Uh, it'd be close. He'd be around the mark. The thing is with Riley, we were talking about it earlier, is that there's a bloke called Alan Dylak, could play a bit of footy, different player, but he was picked three and played three games in his first year, all Australian, best and fairest. So. Um, but Riley looked pretty impressive if you were down here. I'm not sure how we'll set up going into uh, into next week's game against um, Port Down and Olunga, but he's uh, he's probably had a bit of a limited pre-season when he's been a bit in and out. Carried a few injuries last year, so it was it was good for the three of them today, like Phil Thorpe, Pedler and Berry, to get back here. Um, like Pedler played three quarters, um, Berry a little bit over that, and Riley looked quite quite strong for the whole the whole four quarters. Oh, uh, whatever presents. Scott, you want to kind of make a cool thing in a fast start. Is there something lacking to be able to make them think again when they kept dominating the score? I don't know if it's lacking. I think it's just where we're at at this point in time too. I mean, they're, they're, some of the football they played last year was, was sensational footy and uh, they look like they haven't missed much of a beat. So we, we were pretty pleased with, with our start. Um, it was probably just that third quarter and they really jumped us um, and we couldn't quite control it. Um, we're still finding our feet with our mix, like we said, through our midfield. Um, but they probably came through a little bit too easy. They sliced us a little bit through the midfield and made it hard for the defenders. Um, but at the same time, that happens in games of footy and defensively you've got to get it done. And we couldn't quite get it done for probably only 20 minutes. Um, then even post that, I thought we, we settled and especially when we took... Uh, you know, Brownie and Lady and Sloney out the last quarter. I thought there was promising signs in the last quarter as well. What do you learn about controlling the pace of the game when it's not going your way? It's a bit harder to control the pace of the game sometimes with this new rule as well. Um, we'll go through that. We're, we're on uh, a bit of a journey this pre-season um, in terms of what we've taught, what we've educated. We're very focused to round one, so we've got this hit out this week. 
a week off. So at this point in time, there's three weeks until we kick it off against Geelong. So there's still a bit there that we need to get together as coaches and players and just, just educate our, our boys on what to do in certain situations.